Hey, it's JC here. JC's Comics More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741951609097. It's pretty late out there. I'm the only car left in the parking lot. Well, there's some cars over there by the uh, Waffle House. But only car uh, here right now is I'm finishing up, getting ready, getting ready to do one last thing, and then I'm out of here. Go grab a few hours of Z's and back here. Not much longer after that. And by a few hours, I mean exactly that. But these are uh, comics from that uh, collection that came in recently that I finally decided I have to process these things. Don't have time during the day, so I'm doing it to do it now as I moved everything else around and and everything else I had to do. But let's go through these things, and I'll be pricing them out during the day. Uh, I've got Amazing Spider-Man 262. I've got a that's the first uh, I guess official cosplay cover, if you want to call it that. Amazing 350. Eric Larson, Annual 17, Annual 22. The Avengers 202, 203, 5, 6, 7, 8. Gene Cohen artwork on these on these here. 9, 18, uh, 19, 21. That's where the membership changed. I wish this was a much better shape. And you can see the Invisible Woman. I think she's been eating ribs or something because she's not quite so invisible. So that's showing up. So I think uh, she's been eating some ribs. Uh, 21, 24, 35, 36, where Spidey gets the invite again because the Avengers had had uh, they had standards. And Spidey he still didn't make the cut after this issue. 37. 39, the rare issue with David Letterman. I don't know if this thing's been reprinted uh, because of uh, copyrights. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, or uh, 40, uh, 50, 50. Now, a lot of these issues, there's not a whole lot of value. These are good filler books. And some of these books are a little a little hard to find these days just because uh, a lot of shops don't carry this stuff. But we got 251, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. I do have a 57. The 57 is elsewhere. I've got that marked up. That's the first pair to the nebula. You've got 58. 59, 60, West Coast Avengers uh, miniseries number two, Captain Marvel 60, Herb Tremp artwork, Captain Victory and the Galactic Rangers uh, from Pacific Comics. This is issue number one, a uh, story and art by Jack Kirby as he left Marvel. And uh, I want to see Steve Gerber helped him out. And this is issue three, Ms. Mystic, backup by Neil Adams. Got champions number two, Chuck Norris, the Commando Karate Commandos. I think this has artwork by Steve Ditko, if I remember correctly, and cover by Mike Zek. Classic X Men number three, covered by Art Adams. They've got Crisis on Infinite Earth five, six, nine. The uh, Whitman edition of DC Comics presents fourteen. Uh, DC Comics presents 60. Let me get this thing off here. It's telling me, telling me you go home. Go home now. Uh, 80. The last issue, number 97. See, it's a shame they didn't go all the way up to 100. DC Special presents uh, Green Lantern. This uh, is the issue 17, the summer issue. The Defenders, number 40. Great Sal Basama artwork. We've got number 40 there, and uh, the Valkyrie gets a new costume that was designed by John Byrne. It didn't last very long. She went back to her old costume. 
pretty quickly, but she did get a new one uh, soon after that. But number 43, 44, uh, very interesting, the end of that there, that the, the female defenders have to go and stop the male defenders because they're under the Red Raja's uh, power. But issue 45, issue 45 is dedicated to Getty Lee and Rush. We've got 48, and you got Valkyrie's new costume, 48, and also you have Moon Knight in these issues. Um, Keith Giffen did the artwork on these here. 49, again, Keith Giffen did the artwork on that. Uh, this is Al Milgram cover, but on the inside. Issue 58, David Anthony Kraft, the late David, David Anthony Kraft, uh, wrote this. This, uh, this and the next uh, two issues were dedicated to Long Island Oysters, the Stalk Forest Group, the Soft White Enderbelly, the Amazing Blue Oyster Cult. This was dedicated to Eric Bloom from BOC. And there you got the Revenge of Vera Gemini that uh, uh, Albert Bouchard was. Uh, I helped uh, write that. Uh, and uh, BOC does show up in the inside of this as well. So the BOC issues of uh, the Defenders. Got issue 113, FF 54, 249, 250. 51, 55, 57, 58, 59, 60, solid John Byrne story and art, solid. Dan Slott should, uh, should learn a lesson from John Byrne. He should actually have John come back and, and help him out. Uh, 63, giant size Master of Kung Fu 1, got a couple of those. Green Lantern, The Barbarian, 164. Great Keith Pollard artwork. Uh, 198, Joe Stanton. The Inhumanoids, I guess this was a TV show, a cartoon show, a toy line, something like that back in the, uh, the 80s. Uh, the Inhumans, this featured artwork by uh, George Perez on the inside. Uh, Rich Buckler did the uh, uh, cover. And then you had Gil Kane doing the artwork on issue 5, and this was Rich Buckler cover as well. Uh, issue 7, I, I think Gil Kid did this as well as the cover. Uh, Invisible Iron Man number 99. We got 180, ironically enough, he's fighting the Mandarin. 180, he's fighting the Mandarin. 191, 192. 200. 220, 221, 288. I'm going to pause and grab the next stack. Okay, ready to go on with the uh, next stack. Before I do, uh, this is the back cover. Defender 45. They got these kids selling seeds. Uh, this one here, there's a story of a friend of mine uh, running into his doppelganger. I'm not going to embarrass you by telling you his name, but you may find him working at a Kroger someday. But him right right there. Look at that. Look at that rascal right there. Okay. Next up is a run of Justice League. And again, these Justice Leagues aren't really worth much, but again, they're a little hard to find. Start with 117, Mike Grell cover. Uh, 120. Uh, 120, this is cut, but it's 123. Carrie Bates, who is the writer, is actually on the inside. That's Carrie Bates. 125. 126. 133. This guest starred Supergirl. As they're fighting uh, Despero. It's a two-parter with Despero. And there's 134. 146. Look at that. Man, he's 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 uh, blowing his lid, man. One forty-nine. These are Whitman variants. Uh, this is one seventy-one and one seventy-two. Two ten. Two eleven. 
212, great George Perez covers, uh, Don Heck did the inside, 213, 214, 215, 216, Gil uh, Ed Hannigan, looks like Gil Kane, but it's Ed Hannigan, uh, 217, sort of an infinity cover, and then this is a takeoff on that infinity cover with 218, uh, 219, 220, again, Perez covers, and then you got Chuck Patton doing the covers, uh, 221, and he also did the insides, 222, Lionel, and doing their best, uh, Queen News of the World cover, 223, 224, 225, 226, 227, 228, the Martian Manhunter finally comes back, he was gone for quite a while. 242, 250, annual one, annual two, annual three. Karate Kid number 13, Cobra number one. This has uh, J Jack Kirby artwork in it. Uh, you think there would be something on the front? I think there would be a Kirby cover? No, it's got Jack Kirby artwork. Pretty damn cool, man. Um, so if you're a Kirby fan, you don't know about this. Don't wait, because he did not do number two. Uh, issue two did not look like they gave uh, they gave the credits on it. Uh, then you get issue six. Marvel team up uh, number eighty six with Spidey and the Guardians of the Galaxy. The this was like their first appearance for a while, if I remember correctly. Team up one thirty seven. Aunt May and Franklin v. Richards versus Galactus. Believe it or not, because it was. Yeah, excuse me. It was that damn assistant, assist, assistant editor's month. The last issue of Marvel team up 150. Barry Windsor Smith cover. Annual 6 and 7. Marvel triple action with the X Men reprints. Uh, the new Teen Titans number 26. Uh, I believe this is the first appearance of Terra, I want to say. Then maybe she, I want to say she makes an appearance in there. Um, issue 32, 33, Annual 2, the first appearance of the new Vigilante. I guess he's going to be in the upcoming Peacemaker TV series. So this thing is going to be going up. 3, the finale of the Judas Cron Contract. The first uh, Baxter paper. I think a Baxter paper was what they were using on the Titans at that time for Issue 1. There was one of the drug issues. He just wants to be left alone so he can go huff his huff his bag of uh, of uh, of uh, turpentine. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man Annual Six, Spider-Man Seven. I've got a bunch of Star Wars here. Some I've got priced up already. Others I need to price up still. I had somebody came and they they pulled some comics, but I pressed up a group for me. They pulled a few out. Fifty-three. 61, 62, 64, 65, 66, 70, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. I want to say this is Tom Palmer. I'm not sure if this is Ron Friends artwork yet. It might be because this is Ron Friends. So 77. Uh, 78, that's Ron also, well actually that's Palmer, that's just uh, Tom Palmer, uh, 79, 80, that's Friends and Palmer, 84, 80, uh, 86, Bob McLeod cover, 87, uh, 89, Brett Blevins, 90, 91, yeah. 95, 96, 97, 99, 98, well, that was out of order, uh, annual 3, and that was it, there was no uh, annual 1, uh, or 100, 101, 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 107, the last issue, Prince name or the Submariner, Number 13, this, this has Maurice Severin art. Super Friends, uh, this is a Wetman variant. I want to say this is issue 15. 
Superman Whitman variant. This is issue 340. Those things are rare. Uh, this is Thor number 491. Uh, Orlock. This uh, reprints the Jim Starlin run. Web of Spider Man 2, 3, West Coast Avengers 1, 22, 29, 30, 32, 34. Became Avengers West Coast uh, during John Burns' run, issue 49, 50, 51, 52. 53, and you got Wonder Woman. This is issue 260, the Whitman uh, variant. And I'm going to pause again and grab the last stack. Okay, we've got the last stack here. This dang thing is buzzing at me again. So I'm go off, go off, go off. They uh, changed it, and the um, the alarm used to be in the middle, now it's the bottom. At the bottom, it's a little bit harder to swipe now. But we've got X Men 43, 70, 147, Dave Cockrum, 153, Mr. Cockrum as well, as, as is this 163, Paul Smith on 166 for a few issues, 167, 170, John Romita, oh nope, this is still Paul Smith on 174. And then John Romita Sr. takes over for a run. Got 177, 178, 179, 180, 82, 84, 85, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, uh, 94, I think this is the first appearance of uh, Nimrod, 200, 202, 203, 204, 205, 206, 207, 208, 209, and then like uh, 212 and 213, I've got those at another stack already priced up, and there's a few other ones as well, uh, more pricier ones. I've got priced up already. 214, 217, Walt Simonson, Art Adams on 218, Brent Blevins, 219, uh, you got Mark Silvestri, 220, uh, you got Kerry Gamble, 223, uh, you've got Silvestri and Bob Wyacek, 224. 225, 226 during Fall of the Mutants, 227, 229, 230, 231, 236, 237, 239 during Inferno, 240, 241, 242, 243, 245, Rob Liefeld issue, story, or cover and artwork on the inside. 246, 247, uh, 250, 251, the crucifix cover, 252, 254, 255, 261, 263, 264, 269, Rogue, uh, Ms. Marvel, Jim Lee, uh, Magneto, what more do you want to ask for? 285, Will Spertasio. 286, that's Jim Lee cover. 287, that's a Jim Lee cover. Or no, it's a Will Spertasio cover. Annual 7. And let me pause this. I've got some of these X-Men issues I had from that collection I'm throwing in the $2 pile. Let me grab those. Okay, these are the ones I'm putting in the $2 pile. Um, annual 16, 10, 11, 8, uh, Uncanny 265, 262, 
because I've got way too many in my bins already. I don't need to put a third copy in there. But if you do like these videos, as always, be sure to, uh, if you've not, uh, subscribe to the channel yet, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, like, comment, share, and everybody have a good new comics day later, later today. And see you guys in about four or five hours.